Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A2 from Putnam 2023. Let n be an even positive integer. Let p be a monique real polynomial of degree 2n. Suppose p of 1 over k is equal to k squared for all integers k such that absolute value of k is between 1 and n. Find all real numbers x for which one p of 1 over x is equal to x squared. Okay, so I will walk you through the process by which I obtain this solution. So here is uh, the first thing that comes to mind. How do we get a polynomial when you are given some values of the function? The simplest answer would be, let's say you have a polynomial of degree say 4 and you know that p is monic and you know p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 and p of 4 are all 0 so how do we get the polynomial well since we have four roots and we know it's monic it would be x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 and x minus 4. Now if the polynomial were of degree say 6 then you would have to multiply by a quadratic. If the polynomial were not monic then you have to put a constant coefficient up front. Okay let's uh, uh, look at something a little bit uh, more complicated. What if I have p of 1, p of 2, p of 3 and p of 4 are all 1. How do we find the polynomial assuming the same conditions? So the way we do that is we look at p of x minus 1. This is again a monic polynomial of degree 4 which has 1, 2, 3 and 4 as its roots. So that means it would have a factorization similar to the one that I just wrote down. Okay. So none of those two things really happen in this instance because we have p of 1 over x equals x squared. So there are two issues here. One of them is that 1 over x is not a polynomial. The other issue is that that's not a constant. But the second issue is very easily resolvable. So you can, let's assume that you have something like this. p of 1 is 1, p of 2 is 4, p of 3 is 9, and p of 4 is 16. So what we can do is, under the same assumptions, we can do p of x minus x squared. This is a polynomial of degree 4. It is still monic, and I have four roots of this one. x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 4. So this is interesting. So we can actually find the polynomial using this given information. Now let's go back and look at the problem that they gave us and see if we can solve the problem. So the assumption is p of 1 over x is equal to x squared for x equals plus minus 1 all the way to plus minus n. So let's first turn this one into a polynomial equality. We have a 1 over x, so we'll have to clear the denominator and see what we get. So if we clear the denominator, we're going to get, we're going to have to multiply by x to the 2n. We are going to get 1 over x to the power of 2n plus a 2n minus 1 over x to the power of 2n minus 1 all the way to a 1 over x plus a 0. And then I'm going to subtract x squared. This is the polynomial that when we multiply by x to the power of 2n is in fact 0 for those values of x. So let's clear the denominators. We get 1 plus a2n minus 1 x all the way to a1 x to the power of 2n minus 1 plus a0 x to the power of 2n minus x to the power of 2n plus 2. This polynomial has 2n roots. What are they? They are plus minus 1 which means we have a factor of x minus 1 times x plus 1 and plus minus 2 all the way to plus minus n. But this has degree 2n. This side has degree 2n plus 2 which means we have a quadratic left. So what is the quadratic that is left? Well the leading coefficient is negative 1. It has to start from negative x squared. And let's say the rest is a x plus b. We'll figure out what a and b are. Let's now multiply to see what we get. If we multiply that, we get x squared minus 1 all the way to x squared minus n squared minus x squared plus a x plus b. We're going to compare coefficients of the two sides. The constant term on one side is 1, 
the constant on the other side is negative 1 to the power of n times n factorial squared and then times b. Negative 1 to the power of n is 1 because n is even, so b is in fact 1 over n squared factorial. Let's look at the coefficient of x to the power of 2n plus 1. There is no coefficient of x to the power of 2n plus 1 on this side. That's 0. At the bottom, in order to get to x to the power of 2n plus 2, you'll have to choose x squared from all of these terms and x from this term, which means we will get 0 on one side and on the other side we get a. So that means a is 0. So the equality that we are looking for is going to be x squared minus 1, x squared minus n squared. And finally, we get minus x squared plus 1 over n factorial squared. And the question was, what are all other values of x that satisfy this equality? So the answer is x equals plus or minus 1 over n factorial. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. My focus is on math competition problems and the ideas behind getting to solutions. I will see you in the next video.